welcome to today's class in today's class we'll be learning how to create patterns for this beautiful skirt design you're seeing on your screen now this is a fitted skirt with some gathers on the side now I think that is gathers not pleats um, and it also has a flounce by the side as well it's pretty easy like it's really easy it's an easy tutorial just follow along as i explain this design step by step now while you do that please remember to subscribe and leave me a comment below thank you and if you enjoy my tutorials and would love to learn pattern making and sewing professionally then join my online school where I teach beginners, intermediate, and advanced learners how to create their own patterns and sew with clean finishing. Now, the link to my website is in the description box below. All right, so click on it, sign up, and then join us there. So now, let's start drafting our patterns. Okay, so to start drafting our patterns, we'll need our basic skirt pattern. Now you need your basic skirt block to draw out this part. I already have mine. So what I just did is, this is my basic skirt block. I trace it out like that. This is the front part. Trace out one side, flip it to the other side, and then trace out the remaining part. Now you can lengthen or shorten your skirt block however you want it. So that's how I have this. Now the first thing we are going to do is, this skirt has a waistband. So you're going to take off your waistband. Now I'm sure you already know how to do that. Um, how to take off your, how to create your waistband pattern. So I'm just going ahead to just do that immediately. Okay, so this is going to be used to create my waistband pattern. So I'm going to set that aside and this is what we have remaining. Now the next thing you're going to do now is you're going to decide um, where you want your flounce to be placed, where you want your seam line to be. So for me, I just want to do it directly under my, I'm going to do it directly under my dart or on this my dart line. So you can do exactly the same thing. So once you do that, the next thing you're going to do is you are going to determine how long you want your slit to be. Now, it depends on you and it depends on how much skin you want to show. So I'm going to be using 20 cm. So from here, I'm going to measure upwards 20 cm. Now you can make yours higher or you can make yours lower. And then you're going to take off a little bit from this side of your skirt so that your opening will be a lot obvious. So I'm just going to measure from here now 3 cm and then I mark. And then I'm going to connect this nicely in a slant like that. So you see this little thing here, we are going to chop it out so that our opening or our slit in front we can show very well. So first of all, let me cut it through here. Now we are going to also cut off the darts because we don't need the darts here. So I'm going to trim off these darts now. All right. And then I'm going to trim off this little part here so that our, our opening or slit will be more obvious. Now you're going to place your two patterns together and then you put your notches so i'm going to place my notches like that now the next thing we're going to do would be for us to take off these darts now you're going to measure the value of this dart whatever it is mine here is about 2 cm and i'm going to take it off from my side seam so whatever you have as your dart value there you just measure it up on your side seam and then take it off you zero it down to your hip line in a slight curve just like that and then you trim it off so once you've done that that means that we don't need this dart anymore so you can already strike it out 
So now the next thing for us to do will be for us to draw slash lines so that we can create our gathers. And to do that is pretty easy. You're going to just um, decide where you want your gathers or your pleats. You can actually make pleats, it depends on you. Where you want your gathers or your pleats to be. Remember, our pleat or our gathers is going to be on the side seam here. So you're going to determine where you want it to be. So I want mine to be slightly, slightly below my hip line. So I'm just going to draw it in a slanted line like so now yours can be slanted or you can make it straight it really depends on you i prefer the slanted version because um it looks more beautiful that way that's my opinion though all right so then you're going to draw your slash lines you just paste them out about four cm each okay so now once you've drawn your slash lines like this you're going to cut them but do not cut them through so you cut open your slash lines from your side seam all the way down to these parts then make sure you do not cut it through so that we can spread this part open to create our gathers or our pleats okay so once you have it like this you're going to take a plain sheet of paper place it underneath so that we can spread it out so now you're going to spread it out you can spread it out let's say about 4 cm wide now it really depends on you you can decide to spread it out wider than this but take note that the wider you spread it out the fuller your 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 gathers or your pleats will be and the smaller you spread it out the smaller your gathers or your pleats will be so i'm just spreading my out about 4 cm in between them okay so once you finish spreading it out just like this now you are going to redraw the side you're going to connect all these points together so that you can trim it all right so now you trim out all the excess paper okay so and then you're going to have something like this now the next thing we're going to do now would be for us to create the flounce now to create the flounce you're going to take the other piece this other side piece and then we're going to measure it so that we'll create the flounce let me set this one aside so you take your meter rule or your tape measure and then you measure this part here measure it from the beginning all the way down to the end so whatever you get for me here i have about i have about 67 cm so whatever you get is going to be your circumference for cutting out your flounce and then you're going to take a plain sheet of paper you are going to fold it like this fold it into two like this and then fold it again so it's going to be into four places so you have into four one two three four you already know how to create flounce right like it's like a circle flare now if you're not sure how to do that you can uh, check one of my tutorials the circle skirt i taught in detail how to how to create a circle flare or a flounce so i'm going to be very quick about this so you take your waist circumference or you take your circumference this length here whatever it is mine was 67 you divide it by 6.28 and whatever you get is what you're going to use to create your flounce so for me after dividing i have about 10.6 cm 
so i'm just going to use maybe like 10.5 because when you cut out your flans it's still going to it's going to uh, stretch out a little bit okay so you just that's going to be your radius and then you just measure your radius and then you create your you create your flans now the width of my flans it's going to be about 10 cm now you can decide how much you want or how wide you want your flans width to be so I'm using about 10 cm um, okay So you're going to have something like this so you cut it open in one of the places like that so you're going to have something like this so this is going to be your flounce pattern so you can already see how it looks and it's going to even look more beautiful when you cut it on fabric this is on paper and it's already looking like this okay so one more thing we need to do is before we cut it on our fabric is we are going to we are going to cut a little overlap here so that we'll be able to stitch it well so that it will be nice and neat now you know the way we create patterns for when you're making maybe a pencil skirt that has a slit at the back how you create the overlap pattern for that so that's exactly what i want to do here so that it will be easy for us to to be neat when we stitch it so I'm going to just place a paper here or let me use a different color of paper so that you can see it better. Okay, so I'm just going to determine how wide I want it to overlap here so that it will be neat. Remember there's a slit here and we want it to be really nice and neat. So maybe I can do about 4 cm. So I'm just going to mark 4 cm from here, from here to here, 4 cm. Now this is where my knot is. I'll take it off a little bit. I'm going to measure about 2 cm above it, just like this. All right, and then I'm going to trim it out, trim out the excess paper. Okay, so you see what I did? I just created an overlap here so that when we stitch it, it's going to really look nice and clean. So we're going to do exactly the same thing for this other side, all right? So this is what we are going to have. So the next thing now is to place it on our fabric and then cut them out. So now you place them on your fabric and then add your seam allowance all around and then cut. Be sure to place both of them side by side just like this before you cut, all right? And then for the flounce, you also add your seam allowance before you cut. So you add a little seam allowance at the top and then seam allowance at the bottom or at the hem as well. So to start stitching, the first thing you're going to do would be for you to go finish off the edges of your flounce i've already done mine fold it in nicely all around from one end to the other end and then you fold on this side as well on both sides so that you have a very clean finishing all right so once you've done that the next thing would be for you to take the smaller part of your skirts and 
you're going to fold in your seam allowance on this side where it has this uh, little overlap or facing as you may call it this part here so you're just going to fold it in on the wrong side this is the wrong side of my fabric fold it in nicely fold in your seam allowance and give it a very good press so once you've done that you turn your fabric to the right side and then you're going to attach your flounce to it so you take your flounce and then leave a little bit maybe about 1.5 cm seam allowance so that you'll be able to attach your your waistband yes so just leave a little bit like that so you're going to start from here and then you can use your pins to hold them together in place so you're just going to pin them all the way down to this part here okay so now you're going to stitch from you're going to stitch from the waistline stitch all the way down to these corners here this little part here you, you stitch below it a little bit to so somewhere here you can see my chop you stitch and then you stop somewhere there so let me go and stitch and then i'll show it to you okay so you see where i stopped just about 1.5 cm um slightly um slightly below this part here so now you're going to just give it a little snip just like this snip it all the way down to the end don't cut on your on your stitch just snip it all the way through just like this and then you are going to finish stitching the other parts of your flounce so let me place it like this so you can see it so you're going to flip this one like this all right flip it very well like that bring out this part good and then you're going to continue stitching so you're going to stitch from here now all the way down to where your flounce ended so stitch on this your fold line so that's why we ironed it in the first place so place it like that and stitch from here all the way down to this part so when you finish stitching this you're going to have something like this and then you see how this part looks like when you flip it to the other side you see this stitch is hidden this stitching is hidden at the back there all right so we're going to set this aside and then we take the other part of the front and the first thing we are going to do here is we are going to run gathering stitches here so that we can gather it so you just go ahead and run two rows of gathering stitches um you're going to stop you're going to stop where where you slash and spread open where that part stopped and then you pull very nicely to make your gathers okay you're going to have something like this now for you to be sure how much you're going to gather here remember to place this against your back side your back pattern so that um, you know how much you will gather so that your yeah your pattern will match from the top the waistline all the way down to the um hemline i hope you get it <laughs> okay so you're going to have something like this and now you're going to take this other part okay so we're going to stitch it so we're going to just place this like this with the right side of the fabric facing the right side the two right sides together and then we're going to go ahead and stitch all the way down to this part so you're going to stitch and stitch all the way down to these parts all right so now you're going to notch this other part as well so give it a little snip like this so that it can relax very well just the way you did for the other side okay okay so and then you're going to go 
press your face in press it very nicely inside like this just press it very nicely so that it will relax very well and then you're going to attach it to the back side and then attach your waistband and finish off your hemline so this is how our skirt is going to look like did you enjoy this tutorial did you like it please let me know in the comment section and if you have questions as well drop them in the comment section too if you have watched up to this extent and you haven't subscribed yet please don't forget to subscribe subscribe here before you leave my channel all right so thank you very much for watching i'll see you again in my next class until then bye bye